Eknath Iswaran December 17, 1910 to October 26, 1999, was an Indian-born spiritual teacher, author, as well as a translator and interpreter of Indian religious texts such as the Bhagavad Gita and the Upanishads. In 1961 Iswaran founded the Blue Mountain Center of Meditation and Nilgiri Press, based in Northern California. Nilgiri Press has published over 30 books that he authored. Iswaran was influenced by Mahatma Gandhi, whom he met when he was a young man. Iswaran developed a method of meditation, silent repetition in the mind of memorized inspirational passages from the world's major religious and spiritual traditions, which later came to be known as passage meditation. Biography <inaudible> 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 Eknath Iswaran was born in 1910 in a village in Kerala, India. Eknath is his surname, Iswaran his given name. Brought up by his mother, and by his maternal grandmother whom he honoured as his spiritual teacher, he was schooled in his native village until the age of 16, when he went to attend a Catholic college 50 miles away. Here he acquired a deep appreciation of the Christian tradition. He graduated at the University of Nagpur in English and Law. He served as professor of English literature at the University of Nagpur. In 1959, he came to the United States as a Fulbright Scholar at the University of California, Berkeley. From 1960 he gave classes on meditation in the San Francisco Bay Area. He met his wife Christine at one of these talks. Together with his wife, he founded the Blue Mountain Center of Meditation in 1961. After a four-year stay in India, he returned to the Bay Area in 1965. In 1970 he founded Ramagiri Ashram as a community of dedicated followers in Marin County. He set up a publishing activity, Nilgiri Press, which printed his first book Gandhi the Man, telling the story of Gandhi as a spiritual as well as a political leader. His first major work was his three-volume commentary on the Bhagavad Gita, the Bhagavad Gita for Daily Living, the first volume of which was printed in 1975 and the last in 1984. His book Meditation on the Program of Meditation and Allied Disciplines that he developed first appeared in 1978. By 2018, his methods of spiritual practice had been the focus of two major scientific research programs that had produced 30 refereed research reports. <laughs> Published works Iswaran's written works may be grouped into several major categories—primarily books, but also articles in newspapers and other periodicals. Most of his books have been reviewed by spiritually oriented publications or websites, or by nationally known media such as The New Yorker, or The New York Post. In addition, a large number of Iswaran's recorded talks have been published in video and audio formats. Translations Iswaran's translations of the Bhagavad Gita, the Upanishads, and the Dhammapada see article have been critically acclaimed. Religion scholar Houston Smith is cited by the publisher as writing, "...no one in modern times is more qualified, no, make that as qualified to translate the epical classics of Indian spirituality than Eknath Iswaran. And the reason is clear." It is impossible to get to the heart of those classics unless you live them, and he did live them. My admiration of the man and his works is boundless." In Buddhism, a concise introduction Smith and his co-author Philip Novak wrote that our favorite translation is Eknath Iswaran's The Dhammapada. His Indian heritage, literary gifts, and spiritual sensibilities here produce a sublime rendering of the words of the Buddha. Verse after verse shimmers with quiet, confident authority. A bonus is the sparkling 70-page introduction to the Buddha's life and teachings. Topic: <laughs> Commentaries. Essence of the Upanishads. See article. Originally entitled Dialogue with Death: The Spiritual Psychology of the Katha Upanishad, explains how the Katha Upanishad embraces the key ideas of Indian spirituality within the context of a powerful mythic quest, the story of a young hero who ventures into the land of death in search of immortality. Essence of the Upanishads is a Westerner's guide to this vitally important Indian text and its modern relevance to the Indian mindset and spirituality. 
In essence of the Bhagavad Gita, Iswaran places the Gita's teachings in a modern context and comments on the Gita's view of the nature of reality, the illusion of separateness, the search for identity, the meaning of yoga, and how to heal the unconscious. The book views the key message of the Gita as how to resolve our conflicts and live in harmony with the deep unity of life, through the practice of meditation and spiritual disciplines. In essence of the Dhammapada, Iswaran comments on the Dhammapada, sayings attributed to the Buddha himself, presenting it as a guide that gives straightforward teachings about spiritual perseverance, progress, and enlightenment. Books on meditation His book Passage Meditation, original title Meditation describes the eight-point program that Iswaran developed, while his book Conquest of Mind goes further into the practice of these disciplines in daily life. Timeless Wisdom is a companion book to Passage Meditation and contains passages for meditation drawn from across the world's spiritual traditions. His book Mantram Handbook, a practical guide to choosing your mantram and calming your mind addresses the mantram, the second point in the program. His book Strength in the Storm is an introduction to the Mantram, containing many stories and practical examples to help the reader learn how to harness the inner resources for dealing with challenges in daily living. His book Take Your Time explores slowing down and one-pointed attention in daily lives. Renewal is a pocket book of short readings on themes such as loving relationships, raising children, living simply, and aging wisely. Patience, the second in the pocket book series, shows how to cultivate patience, the ornament of the brave, at any age. Other older books describe various aspects of leading a spiritual life, climbing the blue mountain, compassionate universe, and undiscovered country. Topic. Daily readers and reference God Makes the Rivers to Flow is an anthology of writings from the sacred literature of the world, selected by Iswaran as useful for meditation. A larger and earlier version of Timeless Wisdom, it contains dozens of passages from diverse traditions, and identifies passages for particular stages in life, such as caregiving, families with small children, death and dying, grief and loss, and for building positive qualities such as patience, courage, devotion to God, and putting others first. Words to Live By is a set of daily readings with Iswaran's commentary on applying the reading to daily life. The Bhagavad Gita for Daily Living The three volumes of the Bhagavad Gita for Daily Living are conceived as handbooks for applying the teachings of the Bhagavad Gita to lives today. End of Sorrow concentrates on the individual, how one can discover one's innermost nature, and transform one's life through self-realization, selfless service, and meditation. Like a Thousand Sons addresses relationships, how one can heal divisions in society, within one's relationships, and within oneself, and realize the unity governing all creation. To love as to know me gives a global view, describing what individual readers can do to make a difference in the world today, and ends with a description of bhakti yoga, the path of devotions. Topic: <laughs> Spiritual biographies. Gandhi the man traces how Mohandas Gandhi transformed himself into one of the world's great spiritual leaders. Nonviolent soldier of Islam is the life story of Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan, a Pathan or Pushtun of Afghanistan and a devout Muslim, who raised the first nonviolent army in history to free his people from British imperial rule. This book was favorably discussed in The New Yorker. The book also inspired filmmaker and writer T.C. McLuhan, daughter of Canadian media theorist Marshall McLuhan, to make the film The Frontier Gandhi, Badshah Khan, A Torch for Peace, which won the 2009 Black Pearl Award for Best Documentary Film. Topic. Commentaries on Christian literature Original Goodness see article is a commentary on the Beatitudes. Love Never Faileth see article is a commentary on the writings of St. Francis, St. Paul, St. Augustine, and Mother Teresa. Seeing with the Eyes of Love see article is a commentary on the imitation of Christ. Newspapers and other periodicals 
In the 1980s and 1990s, Easwaran published a variety of commentaries on public events in prominent periodicals, especially the Christian Science Monitor and also in the New York Times, elsewhere in the U.S. and internationally. He also wrote numerous commentaries that appeared in The Little Lamp 1961 and in Blue Mountain 1990 -present, quarterly journals published by the Meditation Center that he founded. In the 1960s, Easwaran published articles in other spiritual journals, such as The Mountain Path, published by Sri Ramana Maharshi's ashram. Before coming to the U.S. in 1959, Easwaran contributed short stories and other writings to literary anthologies, and to magazines such as the Illustrated Weekly of India. <laughs> Video and audio Many of Easwaran's recorded talks have been published in video and audio formats. Several dozen of Easwaran's talks have been published as video DVDs, and now as downloadable MP4s as a free subscription from the Blue Mountain Center. Before publication as DVDs, videos of Easwaran's talks were first released in VHS videotape format. Some talks are published in downloadable audio, MP3 formats. Instructions for Meditation by Easwaran have been published in audio form as CDs. Some of Easwaran's talks were earlier published as cassette tapes or LP records. Magazines have reviewed some of Easwaran's published talks, both audio and video, since the 1990s. Several of Easwaran's written works, including Essence of the Upanishads, Passage Meditation, A Complete Spiritual Practice, the Bhagavad Gita, the Dhammapada and Gandhi the Man, have been published as audio books, as voice recorded by the British actor Paul Basley, and also the philosopher Jacob Needleman. Eight-point program Easwaran's program for spiritual growth consists of eight points, and is described comprehensively in his book Passage Meditation, A Complete Spiritual Practice originally published in 1978 as Meditation. Each point had a dedicated chapter. Meditation, silent repetition upon memorized inspirational passages from one of the world's great religions. Practiced for one half hour each morning. The Mantram, silent repetition of a mantram, holy name or hallowed phrase from one of the world's great religions. Slowing down, set priorities to reduce stress and hurry. One-pointed attention, give full concentration to whatever matter is currently at hand. Training the senses, enjoy simple pleasures in order to avoid craving for unhealthy excess. Putting others first, denounce selfishness and cultivating altruism. Spiritual companionship, practice meditation in the company of others. Reading the mystics, draw inspiration from the writings of the scriptures of all religions. Other influence A variety of influences of Easwaran's life and work have been documented. Easwaran's students, inspired in part by his teachings about compassion and stewardship for the environment, published a well-known vegetarian cookbook entitled Laurel's Kitchen 1976, later republished in revised form as The New Laurel's Kitchen 1986. The book contained extensive nutritional information from a scientific point of view, and sold more than a million copies. Outside of the U.S., Easwaran's life and teachings were profiled, along with those of a variety of other spiritual teachers, in a book published in India entitled Meditation Masters and Their Insights. Easwaran's words have been included in collections of wisdom teachings, such as ones recently published by Chong and Parashin. Quotations from Easwaran's translations have been used many times by both scholarly and popular writers. Easwaran's other writings have also been quoted by various types of authors, including writers of novels and short stories, popular spirituality, and articles on management theory. Psychiatrist Aaron Beck and his colleagues quoted from Easwaran's commentary on the Katha Upanishad. The NAPRA Review wrote that the volume of Easwaran's work and the quality of his discourse suggest a man who has had a profound impact on the spiritual lives of many." Easwaran's method of passage meditation was followed by the poet Robert Lax. 
Near the end of his life, Lax's only reading each day was from Easwaran's book Words to Live By. New Hampshire State Representative Latha Manjapudi reported having given then Senator Barack Obama a copy of Easwaran's book Gandhi the Man in December 2006. Easwaran has been listed in reference works on spiritual and religious leaders. In his survey of commentaries on the Bhagavad Gita, Nadkarni described Easwaran as respected worldwide as one of the most profound writers and orators on religion and spirituality." Topic bibliography Easwaran's books, initially written in English, have also been translated into more than 20 other languages, and published in non-U.S. editions by indigenous non -US publishers. Languages in which his books are currently in print include Bahasa Indonesian, Bulgarian, Czech, Dutch, English, French, German, Greek, Hungarian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Lithuanian, Portuguese, Romanian, Slovenian, Spanish, and Telugu. His books have also been translated into Chinese PRC. The Bhagavad Gita Translation and Introduction, 2007 ISBN 978-158638-019-9, e-book, ISBN 9781586380000 236. The Dhammapada Translation and Introduction, 2007 ISBN 978-1-58638-020-5, e-book, ISBN 9781586380000 243. The Upanishads Translation and Introduction, 2007 ISBN 978-1-58638-021-2, e-book, ISBN 9781586380000 250 Passage Meditation, A Complete Spiritual Practice, Train Your Mind and Find a Life That Fulfills see article, 2016 ISBN 978-1-58638-111 6 5 ebook ISBN 9781586380000 172 a comprehensively revised edition of passage meditation bringing the deep wisdom of the heart into daily life 2008 ISBN 9781586380267 a republication of meditation common sense directions for an uncommon life 1978 ISBN 0 9151326644 also a second edition 1991 conquest of mind take charge of your thoughts and reshape your life through meditation third ed 2010 ISBN 9781586380472, e-book, ISBN 9781586380372, the Bhagavad Gita for Daily Living, Three Vols, The End of Sorrow, The Bhagavad Gita for Daily Living, Volume 1, 1975, 1993, ISBN 9780915132171, e-book, ISBN 9781586380472, Nadkarni, Lakshmi, 1979, The Bhagavad Gita for Daily Living, Volume 2, 1979, 1993 ISBN 9780915132188 ebook ISBN 9781586380526 to love as to know me Bhagavad Gita for daily living volume 3 1984 1993 ISBN 9780915132195 ebook ISBN N nine trillion seven hundred eighty one billion five hundred eighty six million three hundred eighty thousand five hundred thirty three Essence of the Bhagavad Gita, a contemporary guide to yoga, meditation, and Indian philosophy, twenty eleven ISBN nine seven eight one five eight six three eight oh six eight seven E book ISBN nine trillion seven hundred eighty one billion five hundred eighty six million three hundred eighty thousand six hundred ninety four Essence of the Dhammapada 
Nirvana, The Buddha's Call to Nirvana, 2013 ISBN 978-1-58638-097-7 Essence of the Upanishads, A Key to Indian Spirituality see article, 2009 ISBN 978-1-58638-036-6, e-book, ISBN 9781586386 373, originally published as, Dialogue with Death, A Journey Through Consciousness, 1992 God Makes the Rivers to Flow, an anthology of the world's sacred poetry and prose see article, 2009 ISBN 9781586380380, e-book, ISBN 9781586380381 a larger version of Timeless Wisdom: Passages for Meditation from the World's Saints and Sages. See article 2008. ISBN 9781586380274. E-book. ISBN 9781586386381. Climbing the Blue Mountain: A Guide for the Spiritual Journey. 1992. 2014. ISBN 9781586 Eight six three eight one one five eight e book ISBN nine trillion seven hundred eighty one billion five hundred eighty six million three hundred eighty thousand five hundred eighty eight previously published as Supreme Ambition Life's Goals and How to Reach It Love Never Faileth commentaries on texts from Saint Francis Saint Paul Saint Augustine and Mother Teresa with introductions by Carol L. Flinders, 1993 ISBN 9780915132898, e-book, ISBN 9781586388381 Seeing with the Eyes of Love, a commentary on a text from The Imitation of Christ, 1993 ISBN 9780915100 32,874, e-book, ISBN 9781586380649 Original Goodness, A Commentary on the Beatitudes, 1996 ISBN 9780915132911, e-book, ISBN 9781586300 80,632. The Undiscovered Country, Exploring the Promise of Death, 1996 ISBN 9780915132836, e-book, ISBN 9781586388381 386 Words to Live By, Inspiration for Every Day, 1996 ISBN 9781815 86,380,168, reissued as Words to Live by, Short Readings of Daily Wisdom, 2010 ISBN 9781586380496, e-book, ISBN 9781586380502 Gandhi the Man, How One Man Changed Himself to Change the World see article, 2011 11, ISBN 978-1586380557, e-book, ISBN 9781586388381 Nonviolent Soldier of Islam, Badshah Khan, A Man to Match His Mountains see article, ISBN 9781888314673, e-book, ISBN 9781586380625, previously published as A Man to Match His Mountains, Badshah Khan, Nonviolent Soldier of Islam 1984, A Higher Image, 2002 Love Alters Not, 2002 The Compassionate Universe, 1989, 1993 ISBN 978-1586381141, e-book, ISBN 9 
1,781,586,380,595 patients. A Little Book of Inner Strength, 2010, ISBN 9781586380458, e-book, ISBN 9781586380458. Renewal, A Little Book of Courage and Hope, 2009 ISBN 9781586380342, e-book, ISBN 9781586380359, a re-edited and republished version of, Your Life is Your Message, Finding Harmony with Yourself, Others, and the Earth's Strength in the Storm, Transform Stress, Live in Balance and Find Peace of Mind, 2005, 2013 ISBN 978-1586381011, e-book, ISBN 9781586380352, Renewal, Take Your Time, The Wisdom of Time, The Wisdom of Slowing Down ISBN 9 trillion 781 billion 586 million 380,182, e-book, ISBN 9781586380441. The Constant Companion ISBN 9781586380038, e-book, ISBN 9781586380601, previously published as, Thousand Names of Vishnu The Mantram Handbook see article ISBN 9781586380281. E book, ISBN 9 trillion 781 billion 586 million 380,328, previously issued as The Unstruck Bell Powerful New Strategies for Using a Mantram A More Ardent Fire, From Everyday Love to Love of God, ISBN 9 trillion 781 billion 888 million 314,021, e book, ISBN 9 trillion 781 billion 500 86,380,571 Kabir, Stages of Desire St. Francis, Becoming an Instrument of Peace with My Love and Blessings, The Teaching Years, 1966-1999, in photographs and his own words The Monkey and the Mango, Stories of My Granny illustrated by Ilka Jerebic, 1996 ISBN 9780915132829 from 2011, a number of Iswaran's books and articles were excerpted and republished as the series of short ebooks Iswaran Inspirations, How to Meditate, The Instructions in Meditation from Passage Meditation ISBN 9 trillion 781 billion 586 million 380,717, ASIN B0056 IOG82, How to Understand Death, excerpted from The Undiscovered Country ISBN 9 trillion 781 1,586,380,755 Ramana Maharshi 1965 How to Find Happiness, based on two articles from Iswaran's Blue Mountain Journal ISBN 9 trillion 781 billion 586 million 380,762 ASIN B006 PBPEB8 Learning to Love, excerpted from a number of books ISBN 9 trillion seven hundred eighty one billion five hundred eighty six million three hundred eighty thousand seven hundred forty eight ASIN B O O seven three W N E Z G What is Karma? The chapter on karma from Essence of the Dhammapada, the Buddha's call to Nirvana ISBN nine trillion seven hundred eighty one billion five hundred eighty six million three hundred eighty thousand seven hundred thirty one ASIN B O O C L T S F N M Contributions to works by others include, Eknath Iswaran To All Mankind. Ramana Pictorial Souvenir Commemorating the Kumbhabhashekam on June 18, 1967. Taruvanamalai, India, Board of Trustees Sri Ramanasramam, 7. Contribution to Edited Volume Eknath Iswaran 
Working for Others reprinted from The Little Lamp, Volume 22, Number 3, Autumn 1982, pp 72 to 84 in Lilia Lender, 1991. The Choice is Yours, Ethics in Vedanta Introduction by Swami Chinmayananda. Mumbai, India, Central Chinmaya Mission Trust. pp. 72-84. ISBN 978-81-7597-122-6. Eknath Eswaran Preface pp. Ixx to Devi Vanamali The Play of God, Visions of the Life of Krishna. San Diego, California, Blue Dove Press. ISBN 978-1-884997-07-5 Eknath Eswaran Roger S. Powers, William B. Vogel, Christopher Krugler, Ronald M. McCarthy, eds. Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan Protest, Power, and Change, an Encyclopedia of Nonviolent Action from Act Up to Women's Suffrage. New York, Garland, 284-286. Preface to the Essential Gandhi by Lewis Fisher 2002, second edition. New York, Vintage, ISBN 1430501 Preface to In Quest of God, The Saga of an Extraordinary Pilgrimage by Swami Ramdas 2002, second American edition. San Diego, California, Blue Dove Foundation. ISBN 1884997015. See also Perennial philosophy <laughs>